Good afternoon once again ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Italian Grand Prix of the World Racing League Pacific Championship Season 2 and you'll have just seen that Danny Rocks has taken her first pole position of her career let alone the season and Marussia are absolutely thrilled with that and may I say what a lovely helmet that is anyhow here we are on the grid and I've qualified second a full six tenths off so she's really got the uh, bit between the teeth and uh, hopefully she can convert that into a good race performance so off we go and she's got a pretty good start and in fact is pulling away as Afro goes straight into my slipstream and he's going to go for a move around my outside certainly and he's going to lunge very deep into turn one he's outbraked himself a little bit there and pushed Danny across the chicane on the exit I put my hand up in the air because he's given me very little space but that wasn't really malice in that but now Zenith my championship rival who qualified in fourth is coming around the outside of Kerber Grande then he'd dive in into uh, La Rocha Chicane I'd imagine he's going to even go for Afro and Danny and there's a massive collision and oh I've been caught up in the aftermath of it and that didn't go very well at all and now Zenith and I are sixth and seventh the championship rivals and at the end of lap one We've caught my teammate Cookie Monster, formerly known as Snickers Bud, who is struggling as Tifosi even will him on. Here we are going to both make a move on him at turn one. He's going to give us a lot of space, so thanks for that. And Zenith and I moving back up the field, as is expected of us, I'd say. But now we're going through La Rocha Chicane. He takes a bit of curb there, but oh, he almost lost control, but he's. Still continuing ahead, and now Lesmo won. He's going to dip a wheel into the grapple. I'm just going to get past, and then Snickers but has had a collision with him as he's spun back onto the track. That's unfortunate for the both of them. And now a lap further ahead, Lesmo two, and we've caught a pack of three cars led by Keen and Lotus and Afro and the Mercedes, and then Cena in the Red Bull, who got a tidy exit from the second Lesmo, and we're going to go straight past with a DRS assist, even though he has DRS as well. And now a Scari. Oh, we get a little bit tap from behind. He's going to wait for us to get back on the track, though, so thanks for that. And Keen, meanwhile, has gone off of his own accord, and Afro has set off in the distance towards the Parabolica in uh, pursuit of Danny, who's got a, so a nice lead. And, oh, Keen's pushed up onto the grass, a bit similar to Hungary, I'd say, and he's probably not seen that on his screen. And as my engineer suggested, I'm going to go with a DRS pass. There's a bit of lag there, but we're already ahead before the turn one. Oh, and there's yep, there's a little tap there. We've both gone across the chicane, not just myself, so there's no real need to redress for that one, I wouldn't think. And now we're setting our fastest lap, or well, the fastest lap. In an attempt to catch the uh, leading pair, and uh, Afro decides to pit on lap 6 and I'm going to have to follow him in because I don't want the same thing that happened with Zenith and I last round where he just got away because he kept undercutting me and we have had to wait a bit there because the Lotus of Keen has come into the pits in front of us but that's alright because now Afro has made a small mistake at La Rocha Chicane and on lap 13 that start, that's the start of an epic battle of 16 overtakes between the two of us for a second position and here's Afro, he's got a much better exit out of the first chicane than I did as I got very tightly and come straight through at Curva Grande and take second position. But certainly not a decisive pass because you just can't shake someone who's within a second because there's two DRS zones and it's a very fast lap. And here we are heading down to turn one, the very next lap. And on the inside, I make a move there. He's still on my inside for the next part but with the extra traction on the right hand side of the track. I'm able to get that move done. But later that lap again, he's going to make a move on the DRS straight into Ascari, and that's a lovely move he's made there. But not to be outdone, the couple of straights later, I'm going to make the same move I did last lap. Again with DRS and again on the right hand side into turn one. Uh, he's pinned me nicely to the apex there, I pin him nicely to the apex the next one, that time he gets in front of me but still a tidy exit with that angle he had to come in with and Kevin Grande I'm going to get straight back past again using half my curves as usual 
and uh, up into second position on lap 16. And of course we both decided to pit on lap 16 having gone 10 laps on the prime. I've actually extended the gap to a bit more than a second now and uh, he's with outside the DRS as you can see the map is probably further away than usual but the cheeky man cuts the chicane and gets within DRS I'm not sure if that was on purpose but he worked because a couple of laps later he's gonna go around the outside of turn one is he gonna make this stick? I've usually defended this line and yes I've managed to defend that quite nicely you need to be a bit further up but I've got a tidy exit now out of a Scari and I noticed that the DRS line is going to come up soon, so I'm going to flip this into lean and let him pass before the DRS tactically and get him back down onto towards turn one. And there's the line right there, he's just a bit in front. This is working quite nicely for us. We've got no curves though, but we should be able to pick up the slipstream, flick it into standard and use the DRS to get back past. Same situation as most laps down until turn one on the right hand side. He's going to give us a bit of a defensive line there, but decides against too much of a uh, risk and again we make that move stick this time he doesn't stay on our left he tries to make a good exit like like I've done to him in the past but that doesn't work out as I take the middle of the track but now he's going to go a DRS move and I've defended to the inside knowing that there's a lot of grip there but well, he seems to be quite a bit further ahead than usual so this might actually work as an overtake oh he gets a bit of his sideways I have him a tap though so I'm not going to go past him and now on the way down to Ascari Oh, I can't make that move stick, so I pull out. Don't want to risk podium position for either of us, especially with Zenith behind my championship rival. And now Afro is defending this time, but still I'm able to get my nose down to on the inside of turn one. It's going to cross the chicane a little bit. I'm going to get the traction out of turn of the, the first chicane again and uh, make another little move in on lap uh, 21 for second position. But now Afro has got a lot of DRS. And he's in a, oh, he couldn't decide which way to go that time. And now we're making, oh, there's a bit of contact. Oh, and another bit of contact that sends me fully around. And uh, that's unfortunate. There wasn't really that much contact, but it was just enough to pinch me around. But he's a gentleman. He's going to let me back through just before the first Lesmos, once we'd established that it was, in fact, a collision, which was lag on, I'm going to imagine, on his screen. He's going to go for a move on the outside, turn one now again. And he's going to make a very good overlap and he's going to be able to turn in. It locks up a bit, but he's got enough space, I would have thought. Yep, yeah, I just run to the back of him. Yeah. This battle still continues and I'm going to make a move down in Ascari. No, I'm not going to have to back out. That's going to cost me a lot of time, though, because I've ended up on a sour line through there. And he's going to be outside DRS. Oh, but he's dropped it at the Parabolica. He's complaining of uh, worn tyres. And that's put, a, put an end to his second position hopes unless I make a similar mistake but I don't and neither does Danny all race and that's a very great performance by I believe the first female winner in any league I've been in for I know that much and she's crossed the line a full 13 seconds in front of me well almost 13 seconds but second position for us not too bad especially with Zenith fourth six extra points ahead in the championship and uh, I'll see you next time, guys, for Singapore. I've been Jacko.